good afternoon and welcome to BR Solutions second video blog. And this afternoon we're going to be talking about tablets. First of all we're going to, be able to compare two tablets, one's an Android and one's an Apple. So and our demonstration today we'll be talking about the iPod Mini and the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. I'm a fan of both of these items and there's a big difference in price with the Samsung Galaxy Tab costing exactly £200 less than the, than the iPad Mini. But there's a difference in quality as well. As you can see with both tablets, the iPad Mini is 7 inch but it's wider than the Samsung Galaxy Tab which is thinner but the same size in, in length. Also the quality is different. I find with the iPad that the quality of this lovely silver finish on it is slightly higher quality than the plastic backing of the Samsung Galaxy Tab as well. And I also find that with the processor speed and the general general appearance of both both items. I find with the um, with the new retina display on the iPad mini the picture quality is slightly enhanced as I'm just going to demonstrate. picture of my daughter on there but the quality is high definition on the new iPad mini and I find that the quality of that picture is very very good and the speed of actually going through the item and scrolling through the tablet is very good but not necessarily to say that the, the quality of the um, of the um, I Samsung Galaxy Tab is, is not is not impressive itself. If, I, if I'm just demonstrating now, uh, I do like the, the Samsung Galaxy Tab, and I do find it a, a very impressive piece of equipment. I'm just show, just just showing you now like how good it is. The only thing that lets the Samsung Galaxy down is that you cannot download Office onto it at all. I find this amazing flaw with that. I'm just going to take a picture of myself the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Yeah, yes, as you can see here, it has got a very high definition screen as well. I mean it's a 1.2 million pixel camera on it. It comes with a dual core 1.2 gigahertz processor. It's a similar processor to the um, the iPad mini but the iPad mini comes with the new A7 processor from Apple which gives you that slightly more power when you when you need it most. A new impressive feature on the iPad mini is this. You can see on the screen here there's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and that is in Office 365. This is what a long waited for, we've waited for for such a long time. I'm going to show you how it actually works. I'm going to click on PowerPoint on the screen. It opens up PowerPoint, and it opens up a presentation which you can plug into a into a monitor and I can with this presentation I'm just going to do a slideshow look at that I've got an, an my own presentation and I can link this up to a projector and then we not have to carry around a laptop what really helps when you're doing a presentation on, on site because this is lightweight it's easy to carry around, takes less space and you can get your presentation done in next to no time as you can see I'm totally impressed with that I mean the lightweight bit of kit and you can 
view but this takes it anywhere and there's not much to carry around and another impressive thing is your word excel don't know if I have the word document on it now see word open it up and you think this is less than £12 a month for, for, um, for uh, Office 365 which is very good value for money so what I'm going to do is open up my documents and say it's like the normal office you do on your normal desktop PC or, or Mac And with this, we could probably just about see on there is one drive. This is where, this is Office's uh, Microsoft's own cloud-based storage. And this is, as you can see there, I've got a document stored in the cloud from my laptop to my iPad. I'm going to open that. Now, I think this is very quickly as well. Open it. There you go. And that's a Word document, what is based in the cloud, what you upload from your PC or Mac. Impressive. And it views exactly the same as it does on your PC. And the same goes with Excel as well. That's our view here. Now. It opens up links to the cloud for Office 365. So let's wait for it to load up because it's going to tell me that it's just connected to the cloud right now. To view my documents. As you can see before, when I click on the the open tab over there, it's just connecting to my cloud drive, what's my OneDrive, and you can see there's an Excel spreadsheet which is invoices for last year. So I'll just click on that. Downloads it from the cloud. Voila. Full working spreadsheet. That is impressive. I mean, you can edit it and do anything, do exactly the same as you can on your PC on the iPad. And I think this one of the most impressive uh, pieces of software that has come to the iPad. And it really saves time. And carrying around a big laptop or a MacBook Pro is just wait and this does it all on the palm of your hand so this is a thumbs up for me on the Apple side well going back to the Samsung unfortunately there's only a couple of pieces of freeware software you can download to view documents and it's no way as good as I can demonstrate here on the, on the, on the Samsung it's Kingsoft Office it's okay it's a free piece of software doesn't look anywhere as good as office does it does open in Excel and Word documents as I will demonstrate but the quality it's not very easy to navigate either new document see there and it's nowhere as easy to use as, as a word document it's very basic very basic commands it will do what you want it to do for free just type a few things on there um, but I'm not as impressed as that as as Office for for um, iPad. It's, it's just 
not as good. I wouldn't recommend it. I've tried it, and it, it, when you try and open an Excel document with it, it fails badly with the formulas. So that's one downfall of of the Samsung is the free office package. But there is plus sides, and that the plus side is the Google Play Store. I do think the Play Store is very good. It's got easy navigation. You can download a lot of free software on there. Like games, very good for games. Samsung, excellent for games. You can see you've got a wide choice of games on there. Like all these games here, so there's lots of choices to download, and the graphics are pretty good for games. And the speed of this, the dual core process, is a pretty fast little, little bit of kit for for up for a hundred pounds worth of um, tablet. That's very fast, very very fast. You can watch a YouTube video of that any ease as well. You just wait for that YouTube to come up, so I'll just play a video watch your sister's video in there for you. show copyrighted um, material on here. So we'll show our own channel. And we can see from last week's video so I'm talking on there and you see how fast that renders. So for a very affordable tablet, the quality and high definition screen on, on the Samsung is very impressive. So for affordability the Samsung is thumbs up all the way. So there's a plus for that for the Samsung. And another plus for the Samsung is expandable memory slot. I'll show you that. Expandable memory is there. Which you can put a SD card in there. It comes with 8 gig internal storage, but you can expand it to 32 gig, which you can't do on the Apple. With the Apple, it comes in sizes of 8 gig, 16 gig, and 64 gig storage. The one I've demonstrated today is the higher end of the market. What's the 600 pounds iPad Mini? Which is 64 gig, so it's very expensive for what it is. But you're paying for the, the quality and the design, as I said. But you cannot expand the memory any further, so what you get is what you get. So be careful when buying an iPad, because if you buy the low end 8 gig or 16 gig, they're quite easy to fill up. So I, I do recommend buying either the 32 or the 64, but the spec to pay over the 300 to 400 pound mm. mark. So, be careful with price. As I was saying, I do like the finish of the iPad. As I said before, and the speed. You can see, it's a wider screen. And the final verdict on my blog today is between both of these. I like both, but if I was buying one for business use, I would buy I'd buy the Apple. And for home use, especially for children, I would buy the Samsung. I hope this video has been useful. And if you want more information, we do repair screens on both of these. So for screen repairs on the Apple and the Samsung, we repair both. So if you want more information about that, then contact us on 01634-302-125. And if you want more product news on both of them, then give us a call as well. We do sell the Samsung as one of our product lines. And we also can get hold of the, Samsung, um, the iPad mini as well. So that's Ben from BR Solutions.
Thank you for listening. Goodbye.